Hello everyone, welcome back to Fire Emblem Engage. So before we do the next DLC, um, Paralogue, I want to take care of the supports that I failed to do. Actually, I was only going to do half, but I forgot all about it, so I'm going to try to take care of all these before the next episode, which will probably most likely be the final episode in terms of the main play playthrough. I don't know what the DLC that's, uh, for the... the next wave is going to be about. I think it's like some episode or something, some part after. I don't know if it takes... I don't know if it's before or after the events of uh, Engage, but we'll s eventually figure it all out. Anyways, I'm gonna take care of Alir's paralogs. I mean, uh, supports real quickly. Uh, there you are, Alfred. Do you recall when you said you weren't worthy of my friendship? Yeah, I didn't think hard enough about your feelings, and I made a pest of myself. <laughs> well, I disagree with what you said. You're my friend, Alfred. We ended up here because you were trying so hard to help me, which I do appreciate. So, please, don't ever say things like that again. Sorry, Divine One. Everything I did was way off the mark. How could I possibly still call myself your friend? You already do so much for me, Alfred. Doing additional things isn't necessary. You know, you were the first friend I made after I awoke. What? Really? I mean, so Fram and Clan, not even, uh, what's his name? Vander were your first friends? Oh man, can you imagine not being called your first friend after waking up? It would pain me if my first friend didn't spend time around me anymore. Dang. <laughs> your first friend, huh? That's got a real ring to it. <laughs> Thank you. I'd be honored. I did feel close to you, you know, even before you woke up. So when you finally did wake up, I was so excited that I went completely overboard. But I'm through with all that. From now on, let's be plain old friends. <laughs> I'd like that very much. Good. Oh, I have a great idea. I'm so glad I picked the female. Just because of these supports. As my totally regular friend, what do you say we do laps around the atrium together? Laps? As in running? Right now? No time like the present! Off we go! No, wait just a moment. I haven't even agreed! Alfred! Alfred! Again, this is just its just so better with the female for this particular game. Um, I can't believe the manga apparently chose uh, male Alir. That was so weird, honestly. I was, like, I was like, why? Why? Why'd you pick the male version? Anybody I could B-rank? I mean, that, oh, well, Rosado. I should probably try to get him outside my own time. Well, whatever. Kagetsu, last one for him. Thank you for the chat the other day, Kagetsu. Exactly what I was going to say. After our talk, I feel our bond has become unbreakable. To tell the truth, however, I was rather reluctant to speak too much of my homeland. Why is that? You said my family back home would be proud of me. <clears throat> yes. Those were kind words, but they were untrue. Oh? I abandoned my responsibility and my role. I left only written words to explain my leaving. Are there any parents who would look proudly on their son for this? I think it is impossible. I mean, they must still love you at least. Perhaps. They have forgotten me altogether. He probably prefers it that way. Oh, Kagetsu. That just means we have our work cut out for us, doesn't it? Huh? If you accomplish great things, your family can't help but be proud of you. Why they pick the male version for the manga? Like, I play- even though this game story is utter crap, I'm not gonna lie, it just made so much more sense picking a female, just because the whole mother-daughter thing worked- worked so much better. So, I don't know. I don't, then again, I, I haven't read the manga, and probably will not if it reflects anything based on this game. So you'll just have to become a living legend across the land. Nothing oh my god. It. I just came to a realization there might be a manga for three houses and I, houses and I never even looked for it. <gasps> no, no, I'm still going through my fanfic if I ever get the chance. I can't forget you if your name is on the lips of all the world. And as your friend, I'll help you. My friend, the Divine One. I had thought one meeting was enough to become friends. I now realize it is not so simple. True. Friends are much more than that. They help each other through their darkest moments. 
If that is the case, then our bond of friendship has grown incredibly strong. You think so? Yes. Uh, we were friends from the start, but our bond has grown much stronger over I'm time. I'm just wondering, how is he so good with a sword when he has that sleeve caught up like that? <laughs> it's just kind of crazy. That's true. It certainly has. Eh, what am I talking about? I forgot Orin from Final Fantasy X does something similar. Indeed. And thanks to that powerful bond, word of our great deeds will be spread far and wide. Alright, that's two down, and a crap ton to go. I swear to God, she looks, so, she looks pretty good in blue, but I still think she looks way better in red. Thank you for your help, Divine One. Louis doesn't really need this support, but whatever. I always have such trouble deciding on gifts to buy for my brothers. It was nothing. I'm sure they'd be thrilled to get any gift from their big brother. How's the letter going, by the way? You said you were going to send one with the gifts. That was my original intent, but I think I've reconsidered. Why's that? Well, the purpose of the letter and gifts was that I wasn't sure when next I shall be home. But when it came time to put pen to paper, I found myself really staring at the blank page. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about the best way to say it. Just write whatever you feel. Something from the heart. Oh, God. I keep forgetting he could do that. How are you? I am doing well. Uh, those are the beginnings of a rather childish letter. No, it's like the gift. They'll be happy to hear from you no matter what you say. I'm not gonna lie. I know he opens his eyes when he enters battle phase, but I did not think he was going to do that right now. So he kind of caught me off guard there. The important thing is to make it clear. Take any chance you get to tell them how you feel. Wise words. You are correct, of course. Thank you. I shall include a letter and after all. I feel like Louis would be a great older brother too. But now there's two Final fa I mean, not Final Fantasy, Fire Emblem characters that I actually wish were my older brothers. Aloise and uh, Louis. It's funny how their names almost sound the same. Huh. Dang, I really did want older nice brothers, huh? And so long as I'm writing to them, I shall tell them all about you. I don't have any brothers though, so no such luck for me. Me? My brother should know how wonderful you are. You won't object to me introducing a precious friend to my family, will you? Oh, Louis, you're embarrassing me. But, yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> I mean, it'd be a little less weird if it was a male, because this is more or less saying my, my fiancé. <laughs> That's just me joking about the whole thing, though. Anna with Mavir. I forgot they had supports. I haven't used Mavir in a while. I mean, Anna, I use them. The fruit I purchased from you was tasty. <laughs> it's Lady Anna, not <laughs> Anna. Address me properly or take a hike. <laughs> <laughs> the way she says that. Lady Anna, I would like to buy another piece of fruit, if I may. You sure may, but give me a minute while I say my prayers first. Oh? Prayers? I did not know you to be religious. Oh no, I'm not the least bit religious. But I do pray sometimes. I do not understand. Hmm, how do I explain this? Well, I'm about to pray right now, so just watch me. Fine then. Please, go ahead. <clears throat> Please. All I want is for my products to sell well again today. For my customers to be satisfied, even happy, at least for a little while. I ask that they remember me the next time they need something. That should do it. So, yeah, that's the kind of thing I always pray for. Huh. What's up? I admit that I had written you off as a small-time scam artist. Scam artist? <laughs> I admit that I had written you off as a small-time scam artist. <laughs> a small-time scam artist. I never imagined you prayed with such passion. And I am embarrassed to admit that I looked down on you, Lady Anna. I must apologize. Wow, dude. You just straight up told that to a, like, what, an 11-year-old? Oh, no need for all that. Come on, let's see about that fruit, huh? I don't think she really cares, though. That's the weird part. Wow, really? <laughs> it's actually funny. She did not care. Oh, last one with Alfred. 
Good morning, Etie. Any suggestions for our early workout? How about a run? Sounds good. Want to make it a race? Nah, I prefer to run alongside. Easier to keep you safe that way. Huh. Makes sense. Oh, look! Is something wrong? <laughs> no, I just noticed how beautiful those flowers are. Let's put the run on hold for a minute. As you wish. You know what pretty flowers always remind me of? This memory I have of you with an armload of them. <laughs> My hometown is known for those flowers. I used to bring some any time I visited the castle. I remember. My mother and the servants loved them. Good. I'm glad. Speaking of mother, <laughs> you want to hear something funny? She originally thought you might be the one to become my queen. What? You're kidding. That's the first I've heard of it. But that does explain some things. Oh? Now I get why I was assigned to you instead of Princess Saline, my childhood friend. Oh, I didn't know they were childhood friends. Oh, God. <laughs> I've wondered about that for years. Mystery solved, I guess. That must have bugged you. Don't be ridiculous. I'm proud to be your retainer, Prince Alfred. Though, it's a bit of a shock to try to imagine myself as your queen. Queen Etie. Huh, actually, kind of has a nice... It really does have a nice ring to it, actually. Queen Etie. It, it really does. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie, Alfred. You know you Apologies want to. Apologies to Queen Ev, but I can't picture it, no matter how hard I try. Oh, you never, never say never. Me neither. I try to imagine us as anything but what we are now, and my brain freezes up. I know what you mean. I seriously doubt that. Our bond as prince and retainer is too strong to be anything else. They're lying to themselves. Workout partners, too. Don't forget that. <laughs> Always, Prince Alfred. Speaking of which, shouldn't we get going on that run? I'm getting antsy. Lead the way, Etie. Every day spent training with you is a gift. To strength! And to peace. And to your happiness. Oh, oh. There we go. That last one clarified it. You can't fool me, you two. I cannot believe- Oh my god, I did almost all of them with her. I'm still surprised that Marin ended up be doing better than her in the long run, but that's because of a weapon. But still, Yonaka's still very useful. Golly, that's weird to think about. What is? Where I'd be if I hadn't heard Makaya's voice in that ring. I wouldn't be here at all, would I? It's kind of unnerving to think this great change in my life hinged completely on a coincidence. Was it a coincidence? Nah. It's no coincidence that you're one of us now. It's just you being you. What do you mean? You're here because you wanted Makaya's wish to come true. Thanks to your big heart, we're allies now. Mm. I'm glad to have you on the team. Oh, shuckers, Alfred. You're the one with the big heart, though. Honestly, compared to you, I'm a coward. I've hidden who I really am, all the things I've done, <clears throat> just for the chance to belong here. If you knew the whole truth about me, I'd have so much more to worry about. I think you'd do more than merely despise me. I think you'd actually come after me. Huh? Hmm. No. No, I wouldn't. Wait, like what? I mean, that part alone, but still. Unless you... No, never mind. What do you mean you wouldn't? You can't just say you wouldn't. I've been filling your head with weapon facts. You barely know a thing about me. You can't accept me for who I am without even knowing who that is. It's not right. It's unfair. You know what I can't get over? Those openings on her hip, you know, on the side of her hips. Or, you know, her waist, I should say. It's kind of a weird detail to have. Let it be unfair, then. I'm fine with that. I'm fine not knowing her past, too. I trust you, Yunaka. I always will. Alfred, you're way too nice. Come on, Alfred. I don't have to explain why I trust you. Just like you don't have to prove that I should trust you. You are... so... weird. I mean, I know I'm bizarre, but you're a whole new breed of bird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got me there. From one weird bird to another, I hope we stay friends for a long time. Me too.
Alrighty. Last one with Louis. No way! You're yanking my daggers. That can't be a true story. It can be, and it is. During my knighthood examination before the Firanese royal family, I treated everyone to tea. I showed promise as a tea connoisseur, which factored directly into my gaining the position. Really? I know you're great at it, but how is brewing tea even relevant to the test? In their search for a retainer, it seems they prize domestic skills and martial prowess. Lucky for you, you're the best. You had the competition tripping over their saucers, surely. <laughs> Why, thank you. Honestly, Louis, I could listen to your stories all day long. They're that good. But I feel a little bad you're always going out of your way on my account. How do you mean? Again with open eyes. Look at that. You go out of your way to do all the talking, so all I ever have to do is listen. I'm sure you've realized by now, but I prefer it that way. <laughs> I don't like talking about myself. It had not escaped my notice. If I had to do it, I'd be forced to get evasive and lie to you. I don't like lying to my friends. That's why it's better if I don't say much about my past, or about myself at all. I mean... I don't know her whole thing, but I just think it's funny that she blames herself. I mean, true, she had the skill to eventually leave. But I guess it might have been the fear of doing such thing. I don't know. It's well, kind of hard I to describe her. Wrong with that. Even putting our pasts aside, I believe we two can understand each other fairly well. You think? So long as we have tea and a friend to share it with, we can discuss whatever we please. I'm not gonna lie. If I were a Fire Emblem character, I think I'd probably be, end up being Louis for some re weird reason. I don't know why. Besides, I'm rather loquacious myself, so it's nice to find someone willing to listen. Listening can be a bit draining, so I thank you for humoring me in that regard. Okay. Aw, Louis. If you feel you must contribute, we can discuss our countries, our friends, the future. Anything. Are you sure you won't mind being friends with someone who never <laughs> talks about her past? Ever? I don't think I've ever seen her do that gesture before. Of course I won't. I am friends with you as you are. Whoever you may have once been is no issue. Now then, if we are to keep this tea party going, I must brew us another pot. Thank you, Louis. I like Louis because he's such a low investment character. <laughs> Last one with the fail. I can't believe there's so many with him. I didn't even get Brusher on, but I didn't feel like using them because I saw his growth rate. I'm like, they're not that great. Mm. Lady Vale, you look like someone who could stand to run some laps. <laughs> Why do you say that? Because you've got that look on your face. The one that says things are unbelievably terrible. Hmm. Listen, some problems you just can't solve, no matter how hard you wish you could. For those, you gotta get out there and run until all you remember is the run. I don't know. How can I just forget? The terrible things I did. The pain I caused. My heart is so full of guilt, and I'm afraid I'm going to feel like this forever. <laughs> you know what? This sounds too tough to leave behind, even with the help of a good run. Yes, I think you're right. So, every mile or two, try a few sets of push-ups. That ought to do the trick. Um... That's a lot of workouts. <laughs> and if you add some crunches, you'll be golden. I guarantee you a good night's sleep after that. I actually did something like that before, back when I was trying to get ready for the... Or was, I, or was it already when I was in the Marines? I don't remember, but it was actually hard. Crunches? Doing all that after a run, and then doing... Run again? Yeah, it, it actually, it's a lot harder than you think. <laughs> oh, Alfred. I don't think my problems can be solved by push-ups or crunches. Of course. You know that. And I know that. You probably won't ever forget all that stuff you told me about. No. I'll continue to shoulder this guilt and regret for a long time. Maybe you will. But you've got to give yourself a break sometimes, <laughs> right? If you don't set your troubles down every now and then... They'll crush you. You're right, Alfred. Thank you so much. You know, I think I might want to go for a run. Will you come with me? With, Please? Here's, here's what I don't get. How does her hair not get dragged, you know, caught between her legs and whatnot? 
I mean, then again, she might be really fast at running. I just think it's funny how she runs with a dress like that and hair overly long. Just say the word. I'd be happy to push you so hard you can't think of anything else. It's what I do best. Well, that was a nice way to end the support. Tell me what do I have? Oh, just a few more. Panette with who? <gasps> Another other best girl. There's like I don't know how many best girls in this game. Too many. The princess's singing advice proved a bit uh, challenging. Indeed. Marin, take all that oomph and hold it right under your belly button. <laughs> Mystifying. What is oomph and mm. how does one hold it? The funny thing is, I kind of get it now. When I focus on the spot right below my navel, my singing voice does get steadier. Though her counsel was nigh inscrutable, <clears throat> you followed it well. I cannot, I cannot get over how she talks. I, I love the, hearing her the way she talks. Panette, I'm talking about. <laughs> Thanks, Panette. And remind me, what was it the princess told you? She said, you're at a wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I need you at a D, D, D. I was dizzy with confusion. Dizzy, I say. But when I tried to put her advice into action, something unthinkable happened. <clears throat> it worked. Perfect. Now no one will even think to call us the Racket of Solm. Certainly not. All across the Queendom, we will put smiles on faces. Instead of holes and eardrums. At this rate, we may soon be ready to put on a concert. A concert, huh? Our listeners will be so mesmerized that they'll call us the Sirens of Solm. Ooh, that would be incredible. I want people to call me a siren. <sighs> now I'm all a quiver. Let us resume practicing. Toot sweet. <laughs> I agree. We have to get Expect a Trifecta ready for showtime. Yes, we'll combine our voices into an angelic harmony that does the boss proud. I think it's funny how these two are just so comical with their supports, but they're actually freaking amazing units. Like, seriously. Try this! Ha! <laughs> Not good enough, Kagetsu! And that's that. I win. I actually believe this because she's really hard to hit. I lost. You did, though you are just as skilled as I am. In fact, you might even be stronger than me. Physically, yes. But I've sworn to protect my princess, and the power of my conviction will not be overcome. Conviction, you say? I won, Kagetsu. You will not challenge Princess Tamara. You understand? Yes. It will be as we agreed. But perhaps you would consider rematching me yourself? You want to fight me again? Do you mean as a substitute for my princess? No, that is not what I mean. I have become interested in your power of conviction. It clearly gives you great strength. Studying this will teach me much about your culture and the world, I feel. Ah, in that case, yes. I'd be happy to spar with you as much as you like. In fact, sparring with you will make excellent training for me as well. Marvelous. Then let us consider each other training partners from today. I am certain this will lead to deep and meaningful bonds of friendship. <laughs> I'd like that very much, Kagetsu. Okay, interesting. Last one with Vale. <clears throat> Marin, thank you. What? Why are you thanking me all of a sudden? You told me I should take pride in the fact that I'm a dragon. I'm not sure I can truly see it as a positive thing yet, but... But everything you said makes me think that I might feel good about it. <laughs> one day. So, <clears throat> thank you, Marin. Lady Vale. <laughs> Is she crying? Marin, what's wrong? I I'm alright. <laughs> I'm just so happy you feel that way. I can't help crying. I will never forget this moment as long as I live. Calm down. It's okay. You don't need to make a big deal out of it. <laughs> 
Oh, you are unusual, aren't you? The both of us. What an unusual pair we make. <laughs> yes, we do. That's it. I've made up my mind. From now on, I'm going to help you figure out what's so great about being a dragon. No one loves dragons more than I do, <clears throat> so that makes me the perfect person for the job. I'm going to find you so many reasons why being a dragon is cool. I'm so excited. And I'm so glad you're the one to help me with this. And just like that, I've already found one reason. You are kind. And all those experiences you had during your long life as a dragon made you kind. I see. <laughs> now you're making me blush. Oh, this is just the beginning. I'm going to find you a hundred. No, a thousand reasons. You'd better prepare yourself, Lady Vale. Okay, I'm ready. You know, for the first time, I might actually be looking forward to life. Oh, that's actually a sad fact for her to say. And it's all because of you, Marin. So obsessed dragon girl, huh? I'm talking about Marin here. <clears throat> that's one of these two. Oh, the townsfolk seem so pleased. I can barely believe all the thanks pouring in. Is Solm really the only place I could keep doing these supports? Yes, the people do seem mm. most appreciative. But our work has only just begun. I hope they know our feelings are genuine, and that we mean them well. I was concerned they would hold a grudge. Revenge makes more sense than forgiveness. I told you, the people here are good. Indeed, you were right. It is wonderful that they welcomed us so. <sighs> you know, there's something I've been thinking about. I wonder if Marnie would have ever been willing to walk through these streets with us. Damn. I'm actually sad all of a sudden. And it, it has nothing to do with this game. Lady Vale. It's just the, like, I don't know why. It's just some of the stuff here they said. About good people and whatnot it makes me a little sad. I do not dare to guess, but this much I know: if Marnie would have fought on this side, she'd have been a knight beloved by the people. Oh yes. I don't know why. You would have loved her. I, I cannot describe it. If it weren't for Marnie, I would have never had this chance to make things right. It's impossible to express how grateful I am for what she did. I guess it must be the tone of the support right here, because I already know where it was going. She would have loved to hear your but praise. But it's reminding me of something else right now. I, I really don't want to talk about it. Let the two of us live to save as many people as we can. For Marnie. I like that. We have so many wrongs to make up for. I don't know how we'll ever balance the scales. I guess we'll just have to add as much good to this world as we possibly can. Will you help me, Mavir? Of course. As a knight, and as a friend. We do this together, Lady Vale. Alright, good. I was hoping it'd end eventually. No, I'm not crying, but I am a little upset right now for some odd reason. I don't know why this upsets me. And not in a bad way, I'm just like a little sad about something else, but uh, it's whatever. Anyway, so let's get onto the freaking uh, paralogue here. So, Altar of Destiny. So, the next one is... Uh, I think it was a floating castle or something like that? Some floating rock. Heroes Sanctuary. Okay. I don't know. Again, I've never played Heroes, so I wouldn't know what the heck's going on about anything. So I'm hoping it's not too bad. I don't even know the gimmick of the character. The lonely air. Incredible. <clears throat> Another island among the clouds. I can sense another bracelet near here. We're quite close now, I'm certain. I'm still figuring trying to figure out why um we're getting in this tiki instead of the one that came up, you know, came out in awakening. Ah, oh, there it is. The bracelet of the lonely air. I hope the emblem inside is friendly. Well, Time to find out. Mm. Heed our summons. Emblem of Heroes. I actually guessed it. It was called the Emblem of Heroes. And I didn't even do that much research. I just knew it was the release date of this, these DLC characters.
Alrighty. I am Veronica, Imperial Princess of Embla. Embla. Name yourself. <laughs> oh, so original. Hello, Embla Veronica. I'm the Divine Dragon. It's an honor. An honor? What a strange thing to say. I'm honored to speak with such a distinguished emblem. There's nothing oh my strange God. about that. Well, no, I'm not saying anymore. I'm just uh, disappointed. They're trying to... One character that got butter up the entire course of the, this entire freaking game is not buttering up another one that may or may not even live up to the hype. And it just so happens we need all the allies we can get. Would you consider joining mm. us? Joining you as your ally? You have it the wrong way around. It is you who would be joining the Emblian army. But very well, I accept. You may join the heroes I have summoned from other worlds. You can do that? Yes. Where I come from, <clears throat> that power belongs to one called the Summoner. When I became an emblem, I developed the same ability. Now I am gathering heroes from other worlds. That I might bring the kingdom of Asker to ruin. Asker? <laughs> I've never heard of any kingdom of Asker. Never mind that. You will make a fine pawn in my schemes. Now, hold on a second. There is no time for delay. I must make you my hero before the summoner can do the same. Prepare yourself for combat. The victor commands the vanquished. Wait! I don't want to fight! You don't have a choice. Let's begin. I have no idea what's going on here. Again, I've never played Heroes, so I, I don't have the slightest clue on this, the lore, the world building, whatever. I just know it's a huge fan service game with a gotcha gimmick and whatnot, so I don't know anything. And nor will I ever, probably ever play it, because uh, I really just don't care that much about that. And honestly, truthfully speaking, Unless a freaking Fire Emblem game does not have a good story or world building, I really won't care much about it. So I don't know if the story might be good. Some people might consider it good, but I don't know. Let's see. How many characters can I use? <gasps> oh no, I gotta I gotta do some adjustments here. Let's see. Do I really need two mages? Here's a better question. Do I need is there flying units here? Got a couple of heavy unit, heavy armored units. Oh god, I'm hoping to get a certain amount of them. Okay, so yeah, Lapis has been doing amazing. I decided to swap her with uh, the. I gave her Killer X plus five with the engravement of uh, Lin. So, uh, Panette doesn't have that. She has a Violet emblem instead, or engravement. You know, engravement. Um, because the her dodge, aka what allows her to avoid crits, is was pretty low and Byleth actually offers like a lot of it. I think it was 30? 30 or 40, I don't know. It was one of those two. And it also offers more might. So she'll be able to hit harder. I had to sacrifice basically, uh, I think 10, 10 or 20 hit rate. I think it might've been 10 though, just for her to not get crit so often. Um, I'm, I'm eventually gonna get her uh, wrath or avoid plus 30, just to make her untouchable. She's got a pretty good avoid for a freaking uh, Berserker. She's surprisingly good. She's already maxed out like a few of her stats. She's already maxed out speed, defense, resistance, and luck. Um, pretty sure... I don't know how far Dex is for her to cap out, but uh, she's bound to hit that. I don't know if her cap out for strength is at 20, I mean uh, at 35, but for her to be having even... 30 plus strength is really good, so I don't know. Uh, I guess I'm just trying to say that she's really good. I guess I could bench Alfred for this one. Here he maxed out with, um... With, uh, Erica. I'm just debating if uh, I could bench anyone else, or should I? I think I should bench Panette and just have Marin here, because she's really good. Man, though, you really have no avoid or dodge. Damn. Hmm. All right, let's see. 
I think I should have one mage over here just in case. Yeah, I think I should. Alright, it's probably better for me to have also Gold Mary over here. Gold Mary's actually been doing really good. I, I gave her a freaking killer lens with Camilla's um engravement and uh, she's been critting a lot and of course then again when you have like 80 freaking 87 crit of course it's gonna be doing good I think this is good I don't think it's gonna be much going on here at least I don't at least I hope not can canners oh okay what Divine One, I fear oh. it may be impossible for us to reach Emblem Veronica on this terrain. I keep forgetting Vanders in this game. Use these tiles to reach my position. I just think it's funny that they, she shares we the same voice of uh, teams and head for the activation tiles. Of uh, Lynn. Once I defeat you, I will make you mine. What? Who are they? You're <clears throat> useless. Are you serious? Oh my god, what is going on here? And she summoned more enemies? You gotta be kidding me. Understood. Oh, an actual new th track. Actually, what am I doing? I could just go straight in for the attack here. See, she's so good. Here goes. So, uh, I'm just curious. How freaking... How freaking good is the hit for this? Interesting music. <laughs> We're pretty tough, you know. Yes. I hope that can doesn't hit too freaking hard, or else I might not even do this DLC Very and just well. call it quits right away. Go ahead. Tis I. Anytime. I guess I could just have her here. This music's so bizarre for me. It's not bad, it's just different. So, uh, how accurate are these cannons again? I hope they're not too accurate because if they're, the, if they're like the ones from freaking uh, Leaf's Paralog, I'm gonna be really upset. I also gave her Marth's uh, emblem, so now she's able to hit more. So in other words, she's You're really freaking good. Like, she's scary good. I can't get over Don't how freaking amazing time. she is. I am actually so happy I invested in this woman here. She is a monster. Like, literally, look at this. This is so freaking crazy. I'm debating if I should even bother giving her wrath and just make... Give her a void just for her to actually be able to be untouchable. That's how a 
lady does it. My god, this is why I love the Berserker class. It's just so freaking good. At least when you get the right characters for it, I should say. No mages here? Sweet. Come on. 64 crit rate. Doggone it. Oh well. either? What's going on now? I won, my princess. <clears throat> really? I will strike you down. That was cool, was it not? She's so amazing. Oh. I was gonna say, all crud. Extra really good hit rate. <laughs> I just realized my party is almost entirely based off women. The shame the break actually affects her class. Maybe I'm mad, I might just make her a. Uh, whatever. Whatever a Louis is again. <laughs> and just give her a freaking pair of boots. Do this. I mean, she crits this guy much more easily. I think she finishes him off. Yeah, she went on him. 92. 92, game. 92. Are you serious? Rewind. Nope, that did not just happen. Alright. Marin. End him. If you can. There we go, thank you. <clears throat> Let me just, just to make sure the RNG gets re-rolled properly, I'm gonna attack the Leer first before I do anything with Old Mary. There. Can the RNG get re-rolled properly, please? There we go. That's how it's supposed to go. I'm too good. This game's RNG is so whacked, I swear to god. Mecha. I'm still wondering I still wanna know what your response was to this game be more honest than other Fire Emblem entries. Really, dude? The lowest I've gotten hit in this game, and I kid you not, it's a three percent hit. I actually got hit on a three percent. I was so mad. Thank you for the dance. Accurate. <laughs> He's definitely on something. I'm not even trying to badmouth him or anything. I'm just like, dude, there's no freaking way. Yeah, she one-shots him if she crits, that is. I don't there we go. Nice. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't even view the freaking meter thing. I mean, not the meter. Did I say meter? I meant the... Oh wait, what am I doing? I forgot I could just do this. Quick change. As I was saying, I, I forgot to uh 
do the middle. That's where I get all my details. Oh, they all just got debuffed. I gotta give her something else to work with. <clears throat> Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Oh god, hopefully the other one doesn't have thunder. it again? Ah, oh, here. That mechanism over there. You're done for! <clears throat> now this help it needs a wash. <laughs> More accurate. Yeah, right, dude. You can't fool me with this BS. I can't get over the fact that he even said that. As long as they don't hit me, I, I think I'll be alright, but just to make sure. Let's see, besides the one freaking mage over there. I am the divine dragon. Dream well. I just have Chrom to see what he's got. I haven't really been using him. I don't think there's a I don't know if he's that good or not. I just do like the chain attack thing, though, going on around him and uh, Robin. But still. <laughs> oh, they didn't go for it? Okay. <laughs> this music is kind of funny for me for some reason. Just the violin. It, it just gives a weird, subdued vibe. That's all she wrote. Do I have a rescue? I do. Should I should I spend it? Nah, I'll just play patient. I don't even know how many more I could get before uh they stop selling them at the store. If there's a limit that is. got a lance. Can I do damage with her in this weapon? Okay, I get two chances to crit. No, that's not gonna be enough. Whatever you need. Buff him at least. Okay, let's see if I can debuff him. I think it's songs. I don't know. If, I don't know if it works even with zero damage. I know he gets debuffed once I hit with a uh, Inaka. And the other guy gets immobilized also, so let me see now. That's crazy. Now, now there's actually a good chance I could finish him off if I crit. Mm. Oh. You're going down. That's kind of annoying. I should have just used Panette, but I didn't want to risk it with her. <clears throat> Why they have so many freaking uh, heavy weapons like that? 
Oh, finally got hit. That's how a knight does it. Let's have some fun. So I give her wrath. That was gonna be harder for some reason. Maybe I should watch and not say anything before it gets, you know, like demolished here. <laughs> I shouldn't say anything yet. We'll see what happens. Three percent hit. Watch me get hit by that. Oh, I forgot she breaks him. Never mind. <laughs> I forgot she broke. She actually breaks him. scary. I'll beat you to a pulp. That's how a lady does it. All the female units are just amazing. I mean, I guess Kagetsu is pretty good too, but I can't believe I had to rely on a freaking emblem just to make him better. Or more useful, I should say. Like, he was not doing much damage until I got, got him with Roy. Not go quick. Let's see. Okay, maybe I should take care of her. Uh, yeah, let's have her take care of this guy real quickly. <laughs> Made quick work of that. Falchion. Just print everything. <laughs> so sorry. Sorry if that was too much. I think they knew what they were doing with Gold Mary. That's why they screwed her in the strength department, because she could break the game so easily also. Since there's barely that many things that could even do damage to her, except for magic, possibly. Oh, god. Ouch. You know, I mean, uh, Citrine? Oh, I think I should dodge that. I gotta give her a void plus 30 if I, whenever I get the SP. I won't 
waste this chance. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's see. All right, so she got base for her final level up. She got 35, 34 strength, 9 magic. Don't know why she has that. I wish it would have gone to something else. Um, 24 dex, 32 speed, 20 defense, 11 resistance, 23 luck, and 14 build. So uh, I don't know if she just maxed out on dex or not. Oh god, more. I'm just going to keep watching this because it's kind of amazing. Still, she's actually really good. I can't get over how good Lapis is if you actually give her the right class. I wonder if this was her intention, so let me see. Did she cap out at, uh, Dex? I guess I won't know until the end game. I mean, uh, the, the last part of this game. Let's see, Yanaka. I guess I should try to at least freeze the enemies real quickly. Dude, she's too freaking good. Made quick work of that. I might just give her void plus thirty and just say screw the wrath. Uh, let's see how to do this. How to do this. How to do this. I guess. Fine by me. I mean, I don't think they're gonna. Oh, they reach. I'm hoping you can survive a hit, Citrine. <clears throat> Wonderful. I just want to take out the freaking Gryphonite. I hope Paneka reach. Right away. Okay, thank God she does. Oh boy, that's a lot of damage I take. Crit. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, I gotta rewind. Nope, it, that did not just happen. <clears throat> Alright, sweet. That'll break. I guess I'm okay with this, right? She's got vantage. She'll survive. <clears throat> I gotta take out that freaking mage. I mean, uh, the Griffin Knight, though, since they got projectile weapon. Oh my god. Here. All because he has a freaking flame lance, I can't believe it. Just in case Golden Mary gets... I don't know if she's going to take any damage, but better be safe than sorry, right? <clears throat> don't make me angry. <clears throat> too good. Oh god, here we go. Okay, thank god they're not like the frickin' uh... Blisties in uh... You looking down on me? You know, Leaf's Paralog. I thought they were gonna be that. Come on. Oh god, she might die here. Oh, never mind, he's got a blade. He's got a blade. He's, even if that didn't kill her, she, he still would've waited for another hit. Oh god. <clears throat> now I'm mad. I 
will strike you down. I, I can't get over that us. animation. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I think I should dodge that. Uh oh. <clears throat> Will this kill? That's a 69. <laughs> if she crits at this, please crit. So sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I can get her 50 uh, SP, so I, I mean 5,000 SP, so I could get her into a uh, lunar bracer just to make up for her lack of string. But I don't know. Assuming, depending on how hard the final map is, she might just be good. I don't even have to invest on her. even do <laughs> oh, okay I mean, so far, it's not been an issue, right? I'll probably go in the next turn, assuming there's no more enemies showing up. Just to heal her up real quickly. She's not, she's dodgy, but nowhere near as good as uh, Marin when it comes to dodging. I'm actually getting used to the music, actually. Yanaka here. <laughs> so it goes to a three percent. <laughs> That's funny. So where does this teleport me? I have no idea. I guess I could just find out right now after. I guess. uh... It is this mechanism, right? No? Am I supposed to be on two of them at the same time or what? Hmm. Nothing happens when it's just the one. What if we were to activate both at once? Alright. So that's what's happening, okay. 
We should try <laughs> stepping on the activation tile over there as well, Divine One. What? The islands are shaking! They're merging together? Well, it seems we have ourselves a path. Now we can bring the fight to Emblem Veronica. Why is he the one talking though? Why couldn't it be someone more, you know, entertaining? Okay, good. I barely avoid her. And it's the rest of her minions. Am I too far? Oh, I'm not too far, am I? Zero. Oh, it's a, it's a magic attack, so it won't do damage to me. <laughs> huh. <laughs> that was cool, was it not? I just love how the cannon actually fell through that gap. That's actually funny. <laughs> You never know. She might have some BS that could actually do a lot of damage. I don't know. Yeah, valiant effort. What? Enjoy dying. She could have summoned seriously more people. This is getting ridiculous. Oh, okay. I see what's got. She's got to keep summoning more and more until we beat her, isn't she? Now this help it needs a wash. I don't know if that was possible because of speed taker, but I'm still debating if I should just remove that ability and give her a. Uh, and give her a void plus 30 because she's not really good at dodging. <laughs> that is all I need, right? Just in case, let's see. All right, so that one reaches. You gotta release crit once, right? <clears throat> You've come far. Well done. If we defeat you here, do you promise you'll join us? It is a nice view. You have little to gain from that. Oh, they're doing it. They're doing all the angles here. I, on the other hand. Stand to acquire a new hero for my forces. Ready yourself. All right. <laughs> I basically just won. It's the fact that she's so freaking dodgy for a freaking X user is what makes it crazy. So I give it to Gold Mary instead. Gold Mary should probably be able to crit her. Yeah, I mean, 73, right? Me first. You can die now. Nothing for me. Oh, that wasn't bad. Of course, Marin did it. She's literally untouchable. I'm actually surprised it was that easy, but then again, maybe my units are just too good now. Why? Why do I always lose? This is not fair. Life is not fair, lady. 
You said Trust the me. victor commands the vanquished. Does that mean you'll join us now? We're fighting for peace in this world. Your cause doesn't concern me. As the princess of an empire, you must have fought for the sake of your people. We're doing the same thing here. I'm sure you can understand that. A ruler's duty is to the people. Indeed, I have said as much before. But I did all that I could for Embla, and still my Embla. goals were forever out of reach. <laughs> still funny. You have many allies, and the power to summon emblems. Is that not enough? You already have all you could possibly need. <laughs> we could always use more help. I, for one, would feel a lot better with you on our side. I have nothing to offer you. That's not true. You're a strong and capable leader. You'd be a powerful friend to have. You really do say strange Man, things. the first three DLCs were harder than this. Friendship doesn't interest me, but perhaps it is better than being alone. Fine. You may use my power for a time. Again, they didn't have so many good abilities, so who knows. Thank you, Emblem Veronica. Let's head back. Your new allies are all going to be happy to meet you. Hmm. We'll see about that. It has been a long time since I've been among a crowd. I'm not accustomed to such things. Still, the thought is not an unpleasant one. I will speak with these allies of yours. Oh. Wait, wait. The sync skill reprisal increases attack power by 30% of the unit's missing hit points. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. So, let's just say um someone has a lot of HP has 80%. I mean, it has 80 HP. So if I'm missing ten, do I get do I get three points for each point I'm missing? That's oh my god, it's actually broken if that's if that's how it works. Hello, what? I have never seen such a word before. Prevents counterattacks when initiating combat. Hello, Skoff Jolf. I cannot. It must be. Russian, German, or something like that. I don't know. Or maybe a fusion of both. I have no idea. So, wait. That's broken also. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so now I basically could have the em actual emblem spirits join me. That's pretty crazy. I cannot believe I already spent over 130 hours in this game. It is a nice place, though. It looks like a Smash Brothers arena. <laughs> well done. Alrighty, guys. Well, what can I say? This paralogue was not that bad, actually. It was surprisingly a lot easier than I thought. These two paralogues were really easy. But that could be, again, as I stated, because I actually did a really good job investing in my team and giving them certain abilities to make them better. Um, yeah. That's basically it. I think, unless something else happens that uh, I may not be able to predict, the next episode will probably be the last one until we get the DLC that will eventually come out later. Um... Yeah, not, nothing else really happened here. Just surprised how... I thought it was going to be a little harder for some odd reason. But anyways, I just want to say thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.